On today's podcast, we're talking jet reports. Two guys, coffee and business podcast. All right, welcome back, everybody. This is uh, episode five of Two Guys Business and Coffee Podcast. Uh, my name is Michael and Trevor Tolo, and I'm here with Tom Dorch, Mr. Tom Dorch this week. <laughs> uh, we're very lucky to have Tristan Throckelt with us from Jet Reports. He's going to be our special guest. We're going to ask him a whole bunch of questions about Jet Reports, and hopefully he can give us kind of like a, a high-level overview and not get too technical, even though he's pretty smart. Yeah, on our way to becoming Jet Reports experts. <laughs> yeah, yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying. Yeah, guys. Thanks for thanks for letting me uh, join you. I appreciate it. No problem. Anytime, my friend. Anytime. So I think uh, Tom's got the first question for you. Yeah. So uh, what I, what is ex- exactly uh, Jet Reports? It's a great question, Tom. And essentially, let's just kind of get to brass tacks. That Jet Reports solves that tricky and difficult problem of getting your data out of an ERP solution and putting it into more of a report format. So we make it easy to get your reports and data out of NAV to be able to have something functional to be able to show with your your peers, your associates, your board, what have you. We make that easy. Nice. So you predominantly rely heavily on Excel then? Absolutely. You know, to be honest, that's where the tool really lives and breathes. You know, that's one thing that's a really great feature about our product. It doesn't come with you know its own way of reporting or format for you to learn something new. The tool bolts directly into Excel, and you guys have heard me say this in the past, but I kind of like to refer to Jet Reports as Excel on steroids. We've added in some tools and some pieces in there that's going to allow the client, you know, the customer, to be able to do that dive into that nav or any other ERP database to extract that data they want, and then be able to format it in a nice perform in a nice good looking. Uh, before, before. Okay, so you mentioned never a different ERP database, which which kind of brings me to the second question that I had written down, and uh, you pretty much answered it. Uh, is it fully compatible with Microsoft Dynamics Nav? It is so. Yeah, it is definitely compatible with Dynamics Nav. You know, it's forward compatible. If they just released Nav 2018, we're already compatible there. We're backwards compatible to. Man, let's see, NAV, oh, I, I think I'll be NAV 3.1. Oh, wow. You know? Yeah, we can get pretty far back, you know, so there's not very many of those clients anymore left out there that are that on uh, that dated of a NAV, NAV environment, but that's okay. If that's where they are and that's just comfortable for them, Jet can still be there to be a resource for them for their reporting needs. That's what's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's... That's pretty cool. Uh, so I've done a little bit of research myself, but uh, so I see you guys have a couple different products. What's the, the difference between Jet Professional and Jet Enterprise? Well, Jet Professional is going to be that real-time reporting solution, right? It just is its own its own product that bolts into Excel. And, you know, and kind of look at it like this. The happy medium, Jet Professional, is a happy medium between crystal reports, SSR reports, SSRS reports, that is, and a business intelligence tool with a data warehouse. The reason being is because, it, you know, Jet Professional gives you the access or the client access to the data without having to be a SQL expert, but does still require a little bit of manual mapping of the tables. Now, what we've done to kind of help alleviate some of those potential you know, pitfalls that may come up with maybe not understanding where all those tables are, is that we've allowed it, the client to be able to go in and save the favorite tables and fields they use on a routine basis for their reported needs. So that helps solve some of those tricky problems right away out of the gate. Okay? Where, now you're looking at Jet Enterprise, Jet Enterprise is a business intelligence and reporting solution tool all in one. So you get Jet Professional's report tool capability paired with a data warehouse and some pre-built cubes to get our mind to have much quicker access, build out reports at a much faster rate, and really just kind of removing the manual mapping process that that anybody's going to have to go through with the traditional report writing tool. Oh, nice. So would you say, do people start off with, say, Jet Professional and then then, uh, build their way up to Jet Enterprise, or is it, is it something that 
they discuss with a partner or with, or with you guys at Jet Reports and they just jump right into whichever fit is recommended? You know, there's a lot of different good answers there. Um, I will say this, that, you know, every client has a different set of solutions and, and things they're looking to have completed or taken care of. Yeah. So we take it by a case-by-case -case basis. But realistically, I would say at this time, eight out of every 10 clients we're coming in contact with, talking with, and, you know, putting quotes together with, whether it's directly with them, with the partner that brought them to the table, or directly having a partner um, like yourself give them the quote, it's Jet Enterprise. And the reason being is because it's giving them everything they need and then some for to take care of the reporting solution right now, and also having something with the data warehouse and cubes that's fully scalable is going to grow with the client as their business is growing and everybody's in growth mode to be able to help capture more money and more revenue, and Jet Enterprise really, really helps out with that for that, for that piece to be honest. Um, you know, it's very robust, and I know I've said scalable, it's very scalable, but the realistic piece of it is the ease of use factor. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is so easy to use Jet Enterprise, that's why, again, eight out of every 10 clients that we talk with are moving forward with Jet Enterprise. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. That scalability is really sticks out to me just because uh, whenever I, I see someone, they're, when they're looking to upgrade their ERP system, they want something that will grow with them, not just right now. So that's, that's right. Cool. Well, the, can, can I think of it like this, guys? Right you now, we're in the holiday season, we're in Christmas, and somebody's going to give you this box. Right, and it's under the tree, and you're gonna guess what's in that box, right? But at the same time, and you open it up, and that's what your present is, just what's inside of the box. But sometimes we get a present when we open it up; it opens up and reveals to be something a lot better than we ever imagined. That's Jet Enterprises to be. Don't keep it in a cookie cutter box because that's not what it is. We do have a pre-built solution that's ready to go out of the box. But as I mentioned, this tool is extremely scalable. We're able to connect to pretty much any data source out in the market, be able to connect to the data, even if it's off of a website. Maybe they want to do some Google Analytics. Maybe they want to connect to CRM. This tool can access and get to data sources from all over, centralize them to the warehouse, funnel it over to our cubes, and that way it makes it much easier and much faster for clients to be able to not only see the data, but actually build out a report and have something that's quickly refreshable without having to go to a bunch of different data sources to be able to pull all that data together and consolidate it. It's already been handled. That's great. It's wonderful. Uh, I love the analogy with the uh, the present and under the tree. And, you know, right. It's better than what you assumed it was. It's Everybody's great. looking for that puppy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, now you start getting a puppy, you get a giraffe that can fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Uh, so if, if I were a new user or, or basically starting out uh, looking into Jet Professional and Jet Enterprise, I guess one of the first questions I would have is, are there pre-built templates or, or reports that would help me to use the software without having to learn everything right up front, something that I can just plug in and, and kind of work with? Right from the get go. Absolutely. You know, what's, that's another you know awesome piece about you know our product and what we're able to offer out of the box overall is that with Jet Professional, you're going to get about 50 pre-built reports um, that are ready to go out of the box. Okay. So if they are looking to have something, you know, these reports are in Excel, so they're pre-built, ready to go. They can use them as is, or they can use them as a guide to help build their own, or a foundation where they can use them and go and make the edits and changes to make sure the tables and fields match and line up to their actual environment. They can do that, or just open it up and connect and you're ready to roll it that way too. A lot of options. Now with Jet Enterprise, so it's even more robust because you're going to get over 80 pre-built reports and dashboards ready to go. Again, Excel-based. Wow. And one thing we added in there is we built, we we put it in there pre-built Power BI dashboards that are powered by Jet Enterprise. The data is coming from Jet, powering and powering Power BI. Sorry, those words kind of run in together, but that's really what it does. And you know that's 
just really great. You know, they, they show the client that they have multiple options for their, you know, front end visual portion of their reports or dashboards. They can use Excel, which we have stuff pre-built ready to go, or a tool like Power BI, or anything else that's data visual that they want to attach onto as well that can work with your enterprise. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, that, absolutely. Uh, so you mentioned Power BI. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of people think you guys are competitors. Right. So why? Right. Well, would you choose one over the other? Would you maybe work with them together, or, or how would you handle that? What would you suggest? Great question. Great question, guys. But let me ask this. Uh, I'm gonna ask a question back to you. All right. Have you guys used Power BI yet? Either. Just as a question, have you downloaded and put it to use? Well, we have uh, one expert over here. Uh, <laughs> Michael's the big Power BI guy. <laughs> I, I, actually okay. do, I do use Power BI a lot. Okay, Hold so perfect. Use Power BI, <laughs> use Power BI probably on a daily basis, Michael, right? Yeah. So my question is, when you go in and you open up your Power BI, you know, that you've downloaded, you know, and you're on your desktop, you go in and open up Power BI, what is the first thing it asks you? Uh, so I don't use the desktop version, I use the web client. Okay, that's all right. Well, then we'll all help fill in that void. Okay, so essentially Power BI is a great data visualization tool. And we absolutely love Power BI because right. it works great with our Gen Enterprise tool. But it is not a competitor of ours because it is not an actual business intelligence tool. Why I was asking that question about when you open up Power BI, essentially it's asking you to bring your data with you because it's saying, yeah. okay, what data do you want to connect to? Yeah. Well, where do you it's get your very robust. Exactly. You can connect to pretty much the full data from anywhere, but you better know what data you're going to connect to. You need to know what exact tables of fields you're going to pull out of that environment to put into Power BI. Now, what Jet does, and what Jet is really good at, is you can actually lay Power BI right on top of the data, the Jet Enterprise package with the data warehouse that you use, and you can actually be 80% faster with Power BI and Jet Enterprise than you are if you just use Power BI to connect to just a NAS. Because all that manual mapping you're having to go through and finding and figuring out the DAX coding that comes with Power BI, well, you can take that portion out because we you know, we simplify that. You can actually go and select whatever cube we have, say the sales cube, the finance cube, the AP, the AR, etc. You can go in and open that up, and that exact cube you use in the Excel format is actually the same exact cube you would use in Power BI. Simplifying your approach field to get to that data, and that way all you have to do is point and click, like, I want my sales, I want my profit, I need my cost, I need my profit percent, all that, I need my locations, where am I selling to globally? All of it, you just point and click, and it starts flowing directly into your Power BI dashboard. The reason why that happens is because of Jet Enterprise. And really, it's the Jet Data Manager that houses a data warehouse and the cubes. That's a little technical, apologies about that, but just know the reason why it's so much better and so much faster than anything else in the market is because of the warehouse and cubes that are powering this to be a really nice Power BI feature. Yeah, so I mean, that's really good. So instead of being like a full-blown competitor of Power BI, you guys are actually working with Power BI to enhance your own solution. Which is exactly right, and so we're not a competitor by any means. Right. We say, hey, we're all good with it. If that's what you want to do and use for your visualization of your data, no problem. Go right ahead. Correct. And it, it reminds me of a, a webinar that, uh, well, I say you and I did. You primarily did. Entitled, uh, how does or what is it? Uh, how Jet reports powers Power BI. So, right. I will have a link to that in the uh, the show notes. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to check that out myself. Yeah, very, very, very good uh, <laughs> webinar that, that Tristan was nice enough to do. So I can also send you a document as well if you want us to, uh, to pair with that link. So you have a couple links: one for what yeah. we did on the webinar, and then one for you know some uh, PDF document that also speaks to it. Yeah, perfect. Sure, send it over. So I, I know that Power BI can pretty much be accessed through a a, a web client or whatnot. So tell me a little bit how. Jet reports uh, can be accessed. So where, where can the, the information be accessed from, I guess the question is. So the question you have here is like, you know, um, kind of more like if I have a client or a customer using, you know, an ERP solution that's on-prem, and right. or you also have maybe another client um, or associate that's using an ERP solution that's maybe in the cloud. Is that kind of where you're yeah. going with that? Absolutely. So, 
guess what? But yet we don't care. Meaning by <laughs> that is you can place it on prem with your environment there because it's installed on a SQL server, okay? Jet okay. Enterprise does. But with Jet Professional, it can be installed wherever Excel is living. Now, at the same time, if you're cloud based, we work with the cloud as well. So we, as long as you have the access to be able to get to that environment or have your you know your your resources, your IT team or your partner that has that access yeah. and allows us to have access, we can connect right into that environment, allow the associates that are going to be the designers and the viewers, et cetera, can have the access they need to be able to build out their reports, whether it's professional or enterprise. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, that's that's great. So uh yeah, as you know, I'm sure, time's always an issue for everybody. Uh, can you talk about automation of reports? I mean, what do people do that are, don't even have time to, to create reports? And run it out every day or five times a day or whatnot. Right. right. Well, that's, the, that's one thing that we have, a feature of our product in either form, whether it's professional or enterprise, is we have the scheduler tool. And you can actually run it directly, you know, meaning you can have the report built. If you're not a report builder, you can have it built for you. And that's, then you use it on a routine basis. You can have it set to run as often as you need to, right? And if there are filter parameters for you to change the date, when you hit refresh on that, it will give you the option to update those dates to a more of a more current time frame. But essentially, to be able to have allow a client to have multitude of reports ready to go, sitting, waiting to be you know rolled out. They just select how often they want it to be ran and how often they want to be able to see it. Whether that's every five minutes, whether that's once an hour overall, maybe that's once a day, maybe that's once a week, maybe it's once a month, or maybe it's just one time overall. They have the option to schedule these reports to be ran as often as they need it to. That's amazing. So. Is there a limit to how many reports can be automated in Jet Professional versus Jet Enterprise, or is it unlimited for both? It's unlimited for both, to be oh, honest. Like, yeah. we don't want to hold anybody back on that capability because, you know, organizations have, again, they have their own way they do reporting and how many reports they need on a, you know, a daily, weekly, monthly basis, et cetera. Right. So instead of us telling them this is what they can do, we want to put the power in the hands of our end users. That's what's really great overall about this tool is that we want to put it in the client's hand and have them have that proof right there ready to go. That this is an easy to use tool for your reporting needs and that you're able to schedule and automate your reports as often as you need them to. And then we're not going to place a limit on, hey, I need only five reports you can do at a time. Well, we're going to allow you to do what you need to do as a client. Okay, it's your business going to help your business run as efficiently as we can help. That's great. That's awesome. All right. So now that we got pretty much uh, a good background and some information from you from uh, about Jet Reports, let's get down to a little bit of uh, brass tacks. The the questions that everybody wants to know, and probably one of the first questions everybody asks: How much is it? You know, great question. So with that, we do our pricing based on you know number of designers per package, whether it's right. professional enterprise based on number of name designers, those are the end users that are going to design reports, just like you know it, it says in the name there. Yeah. So you're going to build them out from scratch, or maybe they're going to come in and make some edit some changes for bringing in you know, new tables and more fields, or they're going to replace one table and bring it in to build a new report with another table, right? So we give that is how it's worked, and then number of connectors, meaning the databases they would like to connect data-wise to to pull data out from. So if it's Jet Professional, the price can range anywhere from say like 7,000 to like 15,000, okay? Now with Jet Enterprise, there's a little more to that as we're gonna need to do some manual mapping and line out the warehouse and the right, right, right. Well with that, you're looking at anywhere from say like, I'll say 18,000 up to say 40,000. You know, it's really gonna be dependent on every, every circumstance because everybody is a little different. Uh, but that's kind of a good round number for everybody to kind of go off of. Right, and, and everybody needs reporting and multiple reports, so in, in the long run, that's relatively inexpensive. Right, and all the it time. It is, and, and something to kind of really add on to that is a lot of questions that come with that is like, okay, is that, a, is that price on an annual basis or is that a one-time? Well, that is a one-time purchase price. We do an annual enhancement, which you guys are aware of, and that is what you would pay on an, an, you know, on an annual basis. And that is drastically less. You know, it's 20% of your license value. Yeah. So 
somebody can literally essentially be with that is after your first initial purchase, roughly $1,500 or so per annual year or right. per annum is how you can get that. Okay, yeah, that's, that's awesome. So uh, my next question, I guess, after the price is, how long is this gonna take to, to get up and running? Well, great thing is with Jet Professional is that once you've become, you've made the purchase, you can download and use it right away. That means you can download, have your license key with you, ready to go, and it's downloaded, ready to roll in less than an hour. Trust that come on, now, this is an April Fool's. I'm serious, it's not serious. <laughs> like, they will, as long as we have, you know, we're connected to their, their environment, which we're gonna know ahead of time anyway, right. and we're gonna know who is gonna be a designer, we simplify that approach. We want a client to know that this isn't a forever long build up process. So with Jeff Professional, Again, once they make the decision to move forward with purchase, and we have you know that background information we're looking for, they need nav, what nav environment they have, and also who are going to be designers. Yeah. We turn it loose. They can download and use it within the same day, within probably the same hour. We have clients that do that on a daily basis. Now, the other portion, the Jet Enterprise package, that's you know that's bigger. People all yeah. the time think, well, it's a data warehouse, it's cubes. There could be a lot of work that goes along with that. I'm going to tell you there's not. We've got a pre-built for a reason. It's going to give you at least 80, you know, a client 80 to 85 percent of what they need right out of the box. It installs in two hours or less, okay, wow. right on a SQL server. That's what's really great. So if you think about this from a client's perspective, not a completed project, but overall, they make a decision to move forward on a Monday, right, Monday morning. Later that day, we get them the license key. We potentially can go ahead and do install that day or schedule some more, more formal time for them where they have the two hours available. Next day, same week, the following week, what have you. Get it in, install, two hours or less. Now they have majority of what they need for that project. Jet Professor is already installed, ready to go. Jet Enterprise is now installed and 80% of the way ready to go. And a lot of the clients to then put that tool to use same day, once installation. Completed. That's awesome. Then we're able to complete the rest of the project, which usually comes, you know, you know, it's earmarked for majority of other competitors out there that are in this BI world that we're in, and they usually do it in 12 to 18 months. That's where they're picked. We're four to six weeks. Wow. So that is five to seven times faster than anybody else on the market. And that is why, one of the reasons why, Clients choose to go with Jet Enterprise over all the rest of the packages and all the other competitors, and that's why I told you eight out of every ten clients of this time are going with Jet Enterprise because they have everything they need right out of the box, and they work out some more of the remaining finalization pieces over a couple weeks' time frame, and then they have a completed project that's fully scalable so that they continue to go with and grow. With. That uh, that kind of sums up why you guys are the leader in your uh, your industry. <laughs> That, that exactly <laughs> probably hits the nail on the head. Um, I, I gotta, we gotta much. say that you know, nobody can really compete with us on these projects. No, not at all. I mean, we know firsthand uh, how you know how, how phenomenal you guys are and how fast and effective and you know no complaints ever and the product's wonderful and everybody loves it and retention rate and everything. So we uh, we can vouch firsthand for the stuff that you guys do yeah absolutely with, with that said though Michael you know with you guys how often do you hear any complaints from other products not you know specifically any names but clients and products that you guys also sell you know how often do you hear a complaint come back yeah it happens a lot after after things are implemented there's something that somebody doesn't like or needs tweaked or you know there's there's always issues but it seems like which I reports once they get what, what what they wanted and it's implemented, they're, they're just good to go. They're happy with it, they're using it. It's wonderful, so it's it doesn't even compare to other, other products. Awesome, that's great to hear. <laughs> so with Jet Reports being as robust as it is and widely available, I guess, what is the, or how is security handled? I mean, is it? So it's gonna be handled a couple different ways. With Jet Professional, it's gonna be based off of, you know, if we're looking at, you know, somebody's nav environment, I'm speaking to that because obviously I'm a nav channel engineer at Jet, so that's where my 4 comes from. Yeah, is, is it, if Mirror is the same exact 
security that a client has in their NAV environment. Wow. So, for example, if somebody is using JET you know, reports to build out in some financial reports, and the end user, say the designer, is trying to pull out some data from like the payroll area of the NAV environment, but they don't have access to that because those credentials don't line up with it. They're not going to be able to use JET to bypass those credentials to go and get to that data area or those areas they're not you know, licensed or get permission to see in the view. It's going to honor the exact same NAS security you already have in place. Wow. Okay? So that's automatic. You don't have to do anything or change anything. It's automatic with the tool. Now, the other piece with this, when you talk about JET Enterprise, is that you can actually have the security set up on every single individual user, viewer, and or designer set up down to the row or column level. So you can have this very tight wow. down to that extent if you need to. Because some clients like to build out reports and have their, you know, they, those clients, their clients, some of our clients like to have their customers have some type of access to dashboards and reports but yet they don't want them to be able to see everything that's available within those reports and dashboards. Right. We can tie in that security for them or show them how to do it themselves so they're self-sufficient on their own, not having to come to you know JET each and every time they want to make a change potentially, yeah. right? or make an additional security feature change. They can do it on their own. And then that can allow the access that they would like to have, their customers have, that much too. And so that makes sense. Oh, we're Jimbo here. No, but not at all. Yeah, I mean, that makes this sense. This is really the truth of the matter, and that's what a lot of clients are seeing in that. And we're trying to expose that knowledge to them that it's not just a box item, right? Like right. I told you, like the Christmas tree analogy. Open exactly. up that box, step right on out. Yeah, you can tailor security permissions as needed. It's not just one, one, one uh, permission for everybody, which is uh, exactly. great. Because, I mean, I. I mean, have you ever dealt with any companies that just that just use one permission, one security permission throughout the whole company, or is, is it multiple? I would assume most people are multiple, right? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, um, that it's got, I, I have not come up or come across a client that is only on one, like essentially one security um, processor for your feature. Right. It's usually multiple, like you're saying. Um, and that's why our, our tool works so great. You know, it, it's honoring those securities and they're in place for a reason and we understand that and we just want to keep that right in mind for the client right I mean that's the whole goal absolutely. yeah absolutely so I, I kind of want to take a quick uh, quick step back so after everybody gets up and running and and we just talked about how we have encountered many problems with jet reports after it's up and running but mm -hmm. let's just say someone for some reason does uh, does jet reports offer any support and what's the do you guys have training as well great question and whenever we get a client up and running with either of our products we highly recommend that they take training so yes we offer training and our training isn't like hey here's this web recording video of how to use the product <laughs> right. it's actually with one of our report analysts and their day-to-day -day job is building and designing reports for clients you know check clients and also training our clients on how to use the product. Okay, so what they're going to do is show you and teach you all the tools and all the tricks of the trade of how to build reports, not just basic stuff, but getting very deep dive and robust as you go through that process. You know, Jet Professionals, about 10 hours of total training that broke up in about five different sessions over about a two hour class period. That is going to really help you allow to do your day to day business needs take a little bit of training on how to use JET, take that training and put it to use and come back with more training, more questions from your training, you know, for your next training session. And as you can see, that's all building blocks on top of each other to get more knowledge and more skill for the client so they can broaden their horizons and broaden their reporting capability. And again, we're in Excel. Most of us in this business world have a lot of familiarity and capability with Excel that we can do our own reports with. By bringing in Jet, that, again, that steroid piece I like to speak to, that's what really can really bring a report to real fruition and really shine. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. 
All right, so we've established that Jet is phenomenal. <laughs> it's very robust. Uh, and there's never any problems. Nothing they can't do. Yeah, exactly. And it even works yeah. with Power BI. Uh, and people, when they see but this video, sorry, go ahead. No, there. I mean, like you're saying, I'm not gonna. I won't say that no client ever never has any issues. But I mean, yeah, I'll be honest. Right. Yeah. There. We do have clients. You know, everybody's environment is make up is different, and we got to work through that and work that out. But that's why we do have not just a trading staff. I also have a support staff. So they're to help you with the implementation on getting the product installed. If you have questions on how the tool is running or needing assistance for a certain report that used to run in like five minutes and now it's taking multiple hours for some reason, let my team, you know, reach out to my team, let us take a look and see why. We can do that. And that it comes with a package, you know, that you purchase. As long as you guys, you know, the clients stay current on their annual maintenance, annual enhancement, they have the ability to reach out to my support team every day of the week. Right. And we will get back to you. We're your mark at two hours or less on half right. And I think we need to maybe stress that it's it's very important for clients to stay current on the uh, uh, maintenance plan, uh, even so much as if they want to upgrade in a couple of years. Uh, it's very, very important to be current on your maintenance plan. That's exactly right. Um, with that kind of in mind, you know, with for people that want to kind of take a listen to this, is that. What we offer is um, on a quarterly basis, we update our product, right? New products, new features, enhancements, you know, keeping it in line with, you know, the Microsoft updates, they continue to update and enhance their products. We want to be right in line or ahead of the curve with that. So when you're update, uh, your current on your annual enhancement, you get all those automatically. You can download the new feature or the new update to your system. But here's the other piece. Last year, what we did is, if any client was current on the annual enhancement, we released a new tool called the Jet Web Portal. And what that is essentially is a central report repository, dashboard repository that came directly from our client's feedback. Everybody loves the tool, Jet Web Portal. Oh, yes. But what they really were also looking for to kind of pair with it is a location to where, you know, or something they can keep all the reports in one location. Have you know, mobile access or tablet access or access, you know, when my office, my laptop is left you know, here in the U.S. in California, but I'm on a business trip in China and I need my jackets, my reports from over there. Well, we created the Jet Web Portal so the clients can access their reports um, anywhere they, they would like to be a smartphone, tablet, laptop, or desktop. As long as they have, you know, web access with those devices, they're going to be able to log into their report, you know, their their web portal, and access and see their reports, and actually pull them up on all those devices too, and see updated and current reports and numbers to help their business needs and where they're at with what wow. they want to do on their reports. Then, we gave that away for absolutely nothing. We charged clients zero dollars for that tool. That was an added-on feature, and we gave it away for any client that was current on annual enhancement. And the way that tool really works is if you're on Jet Professional Client, if you have MAV 2013 and newer, automatically good to go. If you're a Jet Enterprise Client, it does not matter what version of MAV or any ERP solution you're on because the web portal is working off of the data warehouse you can use. Really? So it's pretty awesome. That is awesome, that's amazing. Yeah. And what, what, what business nowadays other than people who travel or uh, whatever and, and need to access their information from a, a different area than than their, their home base. More people are working from home now, so they're not at the office. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Everybody's and essentially, what, what you're saying there is what company is, at this day and age is no is not an international company. Yeah, exactly. Right? They really, truly don't think they are, but they really are all the way around. Pretty and this much. is what that tool can really help and leverage with. That, yeah, that's great. All right, well, since we are getting down to the wire here, and Tom and I, uh, we have our, our Christmas hats on, which <laughs> We're recording this, so you'll be able to see in video. <laughs> we need to get yeah, off. yeah. <laughs> we got a picture of you up here. You're looking good. That's but, right. I mean, you're kind of making right. you're, hey, you're hey, making up, you're making us kind of look bad though. But <laughs> 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 uh, so I want to. Oh, all these they can truly see me today. That probably would be correct. <laughs> uh, so I just want to one more question. Give yeah. me, give me two or three reasons that an organization running Dynamics NAV would want to invest in Jet Reports. What are the two main reasons that 
people always say, this is why we need jet reports? Well, let's see. I mean, that's a pretty broad question. I'll say that. Um, we kind of look at it like this. The simplest way to kind of put it like this is that that reporting isn't built for the average business user, right? It's more geared for someone with a strong technical background. You know, such as like a, an experienced IT resource or maybe even a NAV developer. Yeah. Well, that's exactly why Jet is here and is in business is because we make it easy for anyone in the business to access the data, assuming they actually have those permissions to do so, right? So we build our products to be able to enable business users to create and modify their own reports. Whereas in that reporting, especially, you know, non-financial reporting, Typically, is going to have to rely. They're going to have to rely on a NAV developer to help them out with that. You know, uh, you know, being able to simplify the reporting capability would be another piece. Instead of having to look at specific reports or certain reports or trying to truly understand all the data and where it's living, Jet can simplify that. Mm -hmm. So there's that piece of it. And you know, talk about speed, right? Instead of being all over the place. Well, our product simplifies again, I'll say that, and speeds that up and it's much faster to design for with Jet and NAV together because it makes it much more flexible for them and with the output they're going to get on those numbers. Phenomenal. That's a kind of, you know, it's a couple pieces there. Um, let's see, and, and another piece, let's just kind of keep this in mind, a little bit of stability to go for the future. All right. Uh, overall, like, clients can start with NAV today, but, you know, NAV is an ever-developing product and maybe they go from now for some reason to another ERP solution. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? Jet reports can carry with you no matter what. Because really? as I mentioned before, our tool works with anything SQL, ODBC, or OLE compatible. So we're pretty much compatible and will allow the customers to continue to use the tool they started with using with Navision or NAV and all the reports and keep that information they need regardless of the data source. I think that's, that's a few good reasons as to why clients choose to go with Jet reports than sticking with just what comes out of the box from that. Oh, of course. Being able to access your data from any different, from a different type of ERP or, or software, or whatnot, whatever you want to call it, if you decide to switch is absolutely amazing and wonderful. Uh, we do not recommend switching from Dynamics <laughs> NAV, though. <laughs> I, would, I, would back that, I would back you up on that. The reason why is because Dynamics NAV is really not only the, uh, you know, the ERP solution for today, but I think it's of the future, especially with messaging Microsoft sending out yeah. and how Mac is going to really be a big part of that with even though they're pushed towards the cloud. Right. Now you have a full solution with you know, great folks over there, and it's a side, you know, what they were offering with the Dynamics Nav piece paired with reporting. And now you're going to have in the near future with all of that, you're going to have Nav for your, all your data ERP solution. You're going to pair that with Jet. going to offer you reporting, business intelligence. And here soon, a little teaser for everybody, <laughs> coming in quarter two of next year, 2018, is our budgeting tool. Uh oh Think about that, folks. <laughs> Is that wow. now Jet Reports is going to be an official one stop solution shop for all of your reporting and budgeting needs, is no matter what solution or ERP you have. Quarter two, you huh? have the year golden. <laughs> quarter That's two, awesome. you said, huh? Quarter two, quarter two. All right, I'm writing it down. We're going to hold you to it. Yeah. <laughs> and kind of going off of that, uh, stay tuned for our, our next uh, podcast. We're going to be That's talking right. about. The future of NAV and yeah. Dynamics 365 and where all that's going. So it'll be it'll be phenomenal. I'm sure we'll throw in jet reports in there too for you. <laughs> hey, appreciate that guys. Nice. That's awesome. All right, well, uh, we don't want to keep you too much longer. We definitely appreciate you jumping on this call with us and uh, helping us reach uh, different people and whatnot. I know you have your holiday party tonight, so have fun, have a blast, and all that good stuff. Have an eggnog for me. <laughs> Thanks for uh, coming out. Everything. Not big eggnog guy. How about a glass of champagne oh, instead? That works there just fine. Oh, there you go. Just think of <laughs> us though when you take that first sip. Yeah. Yeah. I, you got it. You got it. I had to rat on the top of my mind. <laughs> All right, just we, you guys are with us at joining the party too. That's <laughs> right. Next time, yeah, if we don't get to talk yeah. to you, uh, happy holidays and all that good stuff. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Happy holidays to you and all of yours um, well. and all of those future listeners. Appreciate Definitely. you guys taking a listen here. And happy holidays to each of you as well. And uh, 
Hope everybody has a great December and uh, enjoy the new year. You too, my friend, you too. Thanks again for being on this uh, call with us. We truly appreciate it. Thank you as well. You guys have a great day and enjoy your weekend and a happy holiday. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.